Tyler Cantrell reporting for BlazerTV.com. UAB opened their conference schedule today against Tulsa very fast with a play that got him a touchdown to Jamarcus Nelson, only 10 seconds in the game. But UAB would struggle with Tulsa as the game went on and lose today 49-42. to True freshman quarterback Austin Brown would make his first career start for the Blazers today, and Coach McGee saw a lot of good things from his young quarterback. But after the game, Austin Brown was focused more on his mistakes. I thought that he he gives us a chance to win. Uh, he is a freshman, but there there are mistakes out there that he's making that you shouldn't make. I mean we. I mean, I thought he gave us a chance to win. Um, I think his ability to throw the football on a line all over the field um, always makes it hard on the defense. Whenever you can throw the ball to the field flat on a line, that makes it really hard on the defense. But um, ultimately, when the game was on the line, we didn't make enough plays to win it. So it's the same story. It's always frustrating to lose. Um, team's still hungry. You know, we still haven't won a game yet. So just building up more and more frustration. And that one, you know, for me to cost a loss really gets frustrating on my part. The, the fumble there at the end, kind of this, what happened on that play and you know, kind of sort of walk us through what you saw on that play? That one's on me. I should have just uh, done what I was coached, taking three step, hit my back foot and let the ball go. And I held on to it too long and just cost the team the game. You had, was that the same thing happened in the first quarter on the fumble? Different play, but same scenario, yes, sir. In a play like that, when you're holding, when you're holding the ball, like you say now, too long. But at the time, were you just holding, trying to give him JJ a better chance to get downfield, or you know, so where goes through your mind at that point? I'm trying to see the defense make my reads, and uh, just holding the ball a little too long, and ended up costing us a game. Darren Reeves continues to solidify his spot as the number one UAB running back today as he got three rushing touchdowns. It was the first time that UAB had a running back get three rushing touchdowns in a game since 2006. One UAB Blazer who likes to see Tulsa is wide receiver J.J. Nelson. After today, four of his six career touchdown catches have come against the Golden Hurricane. I guess so. I mean, we just wanted to come out and try to get the W, but it didn't happen. I mean, we played hard, but, you know, we're we going to come out with the victory this week. How did you feel about uh, Austin Brown, how he did with not just you, but maybe all the receivers today? How did you guys feel as a unit? I think he did pretty good. I mean, doing it the whole week, we executed well with the plays. And um, on the first play, I think we uh, we were running pretty good doing the um, 
doing doing practice, so we knew coming out that it was going to be a big play from the get-go. Coach McGee was very disappointed in his defense in the first half and was not candid about it after the game. We just played one defense the whole second half. We just played four down and played cover three because our players couldn't figure out one thing in the first half of the game. So we came in here and said we'll play one defense the whole second half, not make them think about anything, just let them line up and cover three and see if they can figure that out. We had a guy on the field, um, they were driving, they were in the red zone. We had one of our kids just grab someone's face mask and tear the kid's helmet off. And it's just a guaranteed way to just hand them 15 yards. Just not very good thinking, not very smart. Just not playing winning football. Um, those penalties, you know, I, I know that there were multiple penalties out there that were legitimate penalties. We had a guy grab someone's face mask in the red zone and just take the guy's face mask off. It's just not very smart football at all. Despite having a good day, UAB's Marvin Burdett still seemed disappointed after the loss. Marvin would have a sack and 13 tackles on the day to continue his solid senior campaign for the Blazers. Well, yeah, you know, it's, it's not just this week. It's been the previous weeks, too. You know, you come close to the win and, and just not pulling out with it. Uh, just all go back to the shows. We need to, we need to focus more and, and, and finish. I mean, every, every game is based on the finish, you know. Teams, uh, it would be hard for teams if they didn't. And right now, we're just struggling with the finishing part. Next week, Garrett McGee and his staff will try again to get their first win at UAB as Southeast Louisiana will be coming to Legion Field for homecoming. This is Tyler Cantrell reporting for BlazerTV.com.